work plan to meet the objectives, meeting agendas, ensuring that time is well managed, and you are doing the project specification. Please, when you start a project, the next thing you must do is that do the work exactly as you have specified it in your proposal. If there's going to be any deviation, then you must report back to the person sponsoring that project on the deviation and let them give you a no, obje no objection or permission to go on with that de de deviation. And lastly, the closeout. You see, this last one is a very tricky one, which I believe that many of us do not take note of. Some of us do the project, and this component of closeout is left out. We have to really sit down to write the final report. And then, your report is not complete without a financial report. And it's good for you to have a letter that we communicate between you and the sponsor that you have already completed this project. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the major components of project management. It takes skills. Each of these six major things, they are so wide that I've just put them up so that we can beyond this, we come books of project management and train ourselves. But the most surprising I've said so far is that in project management, you need a team. But that team needs a leader. That leader is the project manager. And that project manager cannot succeed without their ability to communicate the vision behind that project. It's a daily communication. You want to remind yourself, motivate and inspire the team. Build up trust within the team. Influence the stakeholders beyond the project team. Demonstrate persistence and determination. Manage and solve conflicts. Know where to make decisions. And then, maintain the big picture of your reason for embarking on the project. Ladies and gentlemen, by the time you go further and look at the work of the project manager, you'll find that you will ensure that each of these four steps in the life of a project is well managed. That ends my first discussion on the first module. <laughs> First of all, you look at managing the project. Let's say you have a small project. And I will just look at three issues. The face of the project, I think I've covered that earlier on. Steps in managing the project, planning the project. I will not stay long there, so I will just go on to the last step. It's just a summary of some of these mentioned earlier on. One, the face of the project, the concept phase, these are the issues that must have been discussed with you yesterday. Quite often, what you need in this area, I don't think you've done in writing the project proposal. Where you have to define what you really want to do. And you may not know every project will still have a vision and mission statement. The planning stage, the floor distance during your project proposal stage. The real project management is that number four, execution and control phase, where you ensure that the project is carried out according to the specification which you have drawn in one to three, which is your project proposal. And I've also mentioned the closer phase. All that I've said so far very fast is what. Find what I've put in this sketch. 
that anybody wants to manage a project, you have to define the problem, develop the solution option, the initiative, the one to four is are the teams that go into writing your project proposal. The management starts from five, six, and seven. And we'll be discussing that. I don't need to mention this lesson which I believe must have been mentioned yesterday during the project proposal. Uh, this is just an expression of what you do, which I also believe that must have been expressed in the project proposal of yesterday. But here, in managing the project, by the time you get to stage three, we are saying that there are some challenges. So in managing it, you have brainstorming session with your team, where you'll be able to evaluate and select their proper strategies. Details of this are only because of the project and the book. Uh, risk analysis, you'll get that in the project management book. And this is where we have to work. I know that all of us, we are used to writing project proposal. You see, if you write project proposal to collect money, you should write project proposal to get the support of people or stakeholders who may be interested in that project. But at the point of execution, you need an implementation plan. I know that many of us in the university system, we are not used to write implementation plan at all. And what many of us do is that we are just contented with our project proposal. Beyond the university, the proposal is not enough. After the person will give you support, financial support, as many of us are, they will demand of you that before we release this money to you, bring out your implementation plan. Some of the things in your project proposal are similar to things in your implementation plan. But the truth about the implementation plan is that your implementation plan is your project management tool. The way you write your implementation plan is similar to the way you write your project proposal, except for some changes, some few differences. For example, like the project proposal, you must put the project topic and concept note. Similar to what you've done in your project proposal. There must be a problem statement. There must be a vision statement. And there must also be a mission statement. Beyond this, the next step after this four, in writing the information plan, that you must show your project objectives. Similar to what you have done, in the project proposal, and it must meet the smart association specific, measurable, attainable. But the difference between the implementation time plan and the project and the project proposal starts from that number six: project work requirements and expected deliverables. This is the, this is the point that. You must break your project activities to the task. Tasks that you will want to achieve in order to achieve and to get the expected outcomes. And along with that, there is a way we do it. A simple work plan summarizes where you listed the activities. The duration, you will say that whether it takes, it's going to take about six weeks, two months, or even be certain with the time. The budget you need to put in will have to be dedicated. The input refers to those things that you are supposed to do, or those things you are supposed to put in to the activity to achieve the purpose of that activity. The outputs are those things that we have when those things are put in place. Then, very importantly, 
you will give your the impact you expect that task to do on your project. And lastly, to monitor yourself, you have to indicate the performance indicators. This is very essential for your implementation plan. The reason for this is that if you've been able to do this when you are starting your project, nobody will tell you whether you are doing it well or not. Because you have something to check yourself with. Similar to the work plan, it's a scheduling chart, which I feel that we do that too in project proposal. You must have been told about the GAN chart yesterday. There is no, a good proposal must have the scheduling plan. This also reflected in what we do in the project proposal. And if you now match all access so far, the major difference in the, between writing a project proposal and then managing the, the project, project management is that for project management, you need a project leader. A leader who understands, who takes responsibility for all the major, each of the steps. A leader who will also help to develop a project implementation uh, document. I'm talking about documents in project management. There are some documents that are very necessary for every researcher, which you must keep in the course of a project. I feel that this must have been mentioned yesterday. For many organizations, they do not expect to write 20 pages of papers. I will give you a case. I told you that the first paper project I managed also for the country, I got about 109 responses. 109 responses. And the next thing I did was to get a team of five people from different parts of the world to come and assess. And we give them 48 hours to complete it. We've given them a good scoring, but I tell you, not many of them have really spent all the time to read those things. And most organizations will not, will not ask to send them a project proposal. The first step in getting a grant is not a project proposal for many organizations. The first thing is that they ask to send them a concept note. And as an act of writing the concept note, I don't know if you're taking this. No, no, no. no. Because they will not, many people will not say bring us project proposal. They will say write a concept note. And concept note should not be more than four pages. And you must do it in such a way that you capture whatever you want to do. So that if somebody reads the four pages, they will be convinced that they can ask you to write a proposal. So the organization that not just pick up your proposal, you say bring the concept note first. Indeed. The organization that give big money, they don't receive proposal directly. It's your concept note that you write first before they now ask you for the proposal. And when you are doing the section, progress report is very important. Monitoring and evaluation meetings, many of us are not used to it, but I think that we are now getting used to the two DRCN projects. It's very important in project management. And the model file, I'm talking about how to close the project, where you have to write uh, the final report and send it. For big organizations, they do what is called project appraiser and audit. There are some professionals in the world now, they call themselves project auditors. After you've completed your project, you will now come around to look at what you have done. It may even be one year or six months after you've completed your project. For example, when I was in Accra, we gave a project to Dr. Son, two projects to Dr. Son. Two years after the completion of that project, somebody just called me one day and said, so, 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 please you get so, so, project to them with now. We have checked the website of now. It's not on our website. It's a new information about that project. 
There was the Wellcome Trust project that we got in this university some years ago. I don't think any other person has got Wellcome Trust for the past six years. Do you know what the same committed? Somebody, a team here in this university, got good grants from Wellcome Trust. But at the end of the day, they just told us again that they said that please, we want the audited account of now. And by the time they look at our audited account, there is no indication that they collected cover from web of trust in our official account. The administration was treating research grants separate from the university grants. And that was a problem. Since that time, I'm not sure we've been able to get another grant from web of trust. And why I'm telling this up is to let us know that all of us were in family. What you do in your research can affect all of us. And that's why let us do it well. If we do it well, then many more people will continue to read that. But you need to see the attitude of some of our people. They are just interested in the dollars. Let me grab the dollars. Even if it does not come again, this one is enough for me. And you don't know the exchange as for other people beyond you. And I'll just be sharing with you to conclude some international best practices. And the first international best practice is the need for institutions to set up a project management office in their institutions. <coughs> and this is the idea behind the setting up of the directorate of class management of this university. A university without a project management office will not be attracting individual grants. The big money comes from Carnegie, comes from the other people, Medida, comes from Bill Gates. Those ones will not give us grants if there is no project management office. And what they do is that they go beyond formulating the policy for the institution. I hope you've given everybody here our research policy. <coughs> Why not? We need you. We you see the first are the things that can give us money. You may not know. So you can when you write a proposal and you indicate that my university has a university research policy. You don't need to send them the hard copy. Just tell them that check www so so so, and they will they will check it. We have assessed projects based on the visibility and the quality of the information provided on the website of that institution. That's why this policy too should go to our website. Yes. Yes. So I think when you write your proposal, you don't need to put that on the hard drive. Just say, so the best part is that and the development management office should be there. And when they are there, if they give any grants to anybody in this university, they don't need to pursue you. All they just need to do is to go anytime they need information go to that management office to provide them with information. And they expect that that project management office is involved in monitoring and evaluation. I know that some of us have said no, but you are not the one who wrote the proposal for me. It's my personal project. But the truth of the matter is that without the name of your institution, you may not be able to get it. And sometimes, without the vice chancellor, Putting the signature, we can't get that grant. And that's why I want us to see this as let us work on the competence of the institution. So the first best practice is the need to set up a project management office. The second best practice, which we have not answered, is that institutions should have a monitoring and evaluation process and manual. I hope I'm correct, sir. We must, uh, it's not enough to have policy. Monitoring and evaluation is very important. While each of the projects will tell you your know, monitoring and evaluation guidelines, our institute too should have a guideline for monitoring and evaluation, a manual. The third one, sorry that I'm demanding too much. You know, you, see, you need this information, sir. Our institution should also have a project procurement manual. 
But in World Bank, they notice that many institutions are lazy. They bring their own manual. But some, for some others, they don't have their own manual. They will just ask you, before we give you your money, give you our money, can I see your institutional procurement manual? I think we have one in the post. No, it's in the federal government. It's the federal government one. Okay, we may not need to make it to the one and put our name on this. So if they ask for it, we'll be able to provide it because it's the condition for attracting the gas. The second one is one which I've mentioned earlier on. Institutions, I will be able to talk about it, should not regard this research grants that we are getting that they are as if it's fringe to our income. Let us put them. There is one now, Kosovata is about to apply for a grant somewhere. They've asked him to ask the Vice Chancellor to send them our Anna budget. If by mistake, our device is said to have an Anna audit for 2011, he cannot make it. So, universities should keep on ensuring that they do the budget of their something every year. It's an international for something. And please, our accounts should also reflect the funds that we are bringing in. Sometimes they will ask us, can I, for example, tell you, tell me the total amount of funds that your university has made for research? Everybody in the university, how much have they made? If there's indication that we cannot attract big money, they will not give us their money. <laughs> yes. Sir? Yes. They will say, sometimes they come out and tell us that we have no capacity to use the funds. Of the annual report. And the annual report of 2012 
was published in November. These are international best practices that we have at the start of. When you write a project proposal, you are not the only one doing the proposal. You see the person, the project officer managing the project is also wanting to show the bosses that this is what is coming out. Let's cultivate the habit of writing publications about our project. Telephone gave us some money last year. I think they, how much did they give us? Ten million. And we like this something. We now gave it to the great people's first one pieces. We are teaching this out to people. Is it 350,000? 350,000. 350,000, 250,000. And beyond that, we now cut it into a quarter. <laughs> that 250,000. We now say we now break it into a quarter. And what we do not know is that managing small, small money is money. It doesn't pay me to break, to cut it into quarter and start to give out. Because I will need some people to be checking you every quarter. Give you the whole money. Take this something away from my head. So please, web service please is really important. And what made me to talk about uh, tech one is that out of the 10 million, we got about 30 publications. 10 million, 30 publications. And none of the publications mentioned that they got the money from tech one. What you are saying is, if Sarah Fund, if not if Sarah Fund, it's the port fund. No, that's why you need to know the details. So that, please, I'm just saying this now. Well, today, I'm happy, I think that we've been able to get the 10 million for this year. And we've also internally we are also putting another 10 million. So we are giving 20 million out in the next two or three weeks. And we are going to do a formal and a ceremony for that. But please, when whatever you bring out, always put it there and that this project can be supported by a fund received by the Federal University of Agriculture through Especially <laughs> because our own university is also important. Good answers. Thank you.
because we had envisaged if we are successful, we would need to go further and do something about social and so. So projections, notes of projections, can be very helpful for the next reset from the same benefactor or another benefactor. Thank you, sir. I hope that sounds reasonable. Professor Dr. Kubotel, the Department of Chemistry. Professor Sandia Adeogu, Federal University of Nokoja. Thank you, sir. We are very grateful for your presentation. I'm happy that you are sharing your experience with us. Very, I'm very grateful, sir. Uh, so, my question is on the register form. Uh, we are aware that projects run on time line, time scale. And sometimes you need money to get something done. And it's head up somewhere, either because of bureaucracy and so on. So what is your spirit? What, you, what advice do you have for us? Thank you very much. Yes, sir. I just want to agree with our lecturer that we need institutional guidelines for research, for projects, research projects. And this is necessary because of the diversity effect of field projects conducted by individuals on their institutions. So in the guideline, there must be uh, penalties. Because individuals will go out, take projects, uh, use the name of the university, get the signature of the vice chancellor, and the project fails. It is not the max project that has failed, the university has failed. So that recalcitrant must be brought to book. Because projects at universities are very, very unlike road projects by state or federal government. What they do is just, they just take the, 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 the terminate the project and the contractor goes free. And everybody involved in project failure in the, in the system should pay for it so that others will not do that. Thank you. Um, Sylvia, starts from the proposal writing. You bring together your team. You write this, you research this, you do this, you come together, you are already managing the project. And then, when it's uh, time to spend the money, I want to uh, beg our speaker to clarify on this uh, matter. Can the grant manager or the grant managing office, when the, uh, the grant money has come, change the budget approved by the donor to now include his own items and remove the items approved by the donor, which have been put there by the composing team? I quite agree that projections are very important. But for many proposals, we, beyond projections, to be able to win the grant, you must provide a sustainability plan. Yeah. Tell us how we can keep on the objective of that project beyond the time for which the fund is requested. So, for one of the tricks of getting grants, there are times when you find that there are many proposals and you need to eliminate. The next thing you now ask, is there any one of them that has plan on how to sustain the project beyond the money we want to give? 
they use that to eliminate. Thank you very much. The second one is the release of funds during grazing. I'm also disturbed. We need to break this bureaucracy. I'll give you one example. Telephone released some funds for travel grants to invest something people. The money was they sent it by Korea up to about three weeks ago, up to today, I'm yet to receive it. The letter. Up to today, I'm yet to receive the letter. But in between, there's a rumor along the system that we've collected the money, we fix the money. It's a lie. And that now made me to send a note to the bossa. To say, bossa, if this money is received, I want to be the account of all the people concerned within 24 hours. And just two days ago, I was told that the money has come. And yesterday, based on what I said, it must have sent to account. But then, we now have another problem. The problem we now have is that 50, over 50, out of the 70 something, ought to have gone on the <laughs> on the travels before today. And the question is, if we put that account in their the money in their account, the cost the workshops, the conference had already gone. What do we do? <laughs> and I will tell you, that's why the strategy I want to do to adopt is this. I am interested in getting more telephone money. And telephone will not give me the money if I fail to deposit the money in your account. So I have to tell you, I'm depositing this money in your account in trust. Don't spend it for anything other than getting another conference internationally to attend. But you will not get our approval. If I fail to clarify that, some people will collect money and use for Christmas. <laughs> Then when they use it for Christmas, they will, by January next year, when I'm asking them, please go on your conference so that we can something, you'll be surprised that for one year, some people will not give account. And if one single one of them fail to give account, I cannot go to telephone to ask for more money. And that's why we are taking some care. So bureaucracy, I think for the grants management, we, the, we now have an accountant in charge of grants. Now, please, all of us have to work together. We we'll see what we we'll do. Penalties. If you there are penalties, but if you do it, they will say you are wicked. Hmm. For example, in the place where I work before now, there was a sometime there was I, I had to go on the, uh, the journey. They deposited two thousand dollars into my account. And I might not make that journey. No, I went on the journey. By the time I got to the journey, the people were there paid me for that flight, for that flight. There was no way my company would ever have realized that I collected money. Let me tell you, if I come back and I fail to declare that I was giving so so money there, they will sack me the following day. That's why there's some ethical something. For people, <laughs> I will allow you to talk because in the policy guideline, we are putting some policies there. Let him tell us the policies. Failure to adhere to these guidelines we see as across the standards. Chancellor gave a particular example, and I will say that if we are not being very tactical about that issue, what you mentioned, what you address at the Initial state in this university was spotted somewhere internationally, but we had to maneuver because of the image of the university. So even when you have put something outrageous in your proposal, the university has a way of protecting. You mentioned something about one thousand dollars for matches. Yes. And there were situations where we saw people spending up to three hundred thousand naira to say they are buying biscuits for people. So let, let, let's, let's be careful about this. The university has a, a right to protect its image on this issue. Things that we see may not be what you see. 
But that does not mean that grass management will change what you have proposed. You no, know, grass management will not change what you have proposed. But the people at the international level will ask you.